Okay, so today we're going to have a look at chords. We're going to start off with some basic chords uh, for writing songs, for composing, for strumming along. Um, some of these chords are easier than others when you first start playing. Um, if you go on Guitar Tuner, for instance, that's T-U-N-A, um, you can have a look at the different chord positions that are on there as well. Uh, and I will do close-ups um, of these chords um, as we go through them, okay? So all, all the chords that I'm going to show you today um, are based around this area. We're going through these with Alfie at the moment, okay? We're going to start off in C major, and we're going to go through the scale tone chords through the entire the scale. The scale for C major, as I've done in recent videos, is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Uh, this gives you three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished chord, and that's how it works in all major keys. So, first of all, uh, we're going to start from C, go through the scale tone chords, and I'll show you close-ups uh, of each one of the chords. Uh, like, like I said, go, if you go on the guitar tune wrap, um, you can look on the chord section if, you, um, if you're struggling with any of these chord shapes. The most important thing is the position of your wrist. Now, you can put your thumb over the top of the guitar, but you must remember uh, to try and get your fingers as high up as possible when you're playing these chords. Also, your finger needs to be kind of three-quarters... Uh, up the fret, not too far back that way, and if there's any string buzzing, sometimes you're either not pushing on hard enough or your fingers aren't high enough up. So I'm just going to go through these chord shapes right now just so you can see them. Okay, so the first one is C major, okay? So C major, uh, I'm just going to show you a quick close up there. So we've got the C here at the third fret, and then on the uh, D string, the note of E, miss a string out, and then we play on the C, and then you play all uh, five notes from uh, the A string downwards, like that. Okay, the next one is D minor, okay? D minor, we start here, and then here, and then here, okay? Yeah, again, we're just playing five strings. We start from the, the A string down, okay? So that's uh, A on the G string, uh, the D on the second string, uh, the B string, and then the first finger on the first fret. They're all within the first three frets of the guitar, so that's D minor. E minor, this is the simplest chord to, to start with. If you want to start anywhere, uh, start with this chord. So E minor is just here on the B, on the A string, and then your third finger on the same fret underneath it, okay? And then you play all six strings, okay? The next one is, in my opinion, the most difficult one of this set, really. Uh, it's called F major. The reason it's difficult is because you have to, really have to uh, bar the first two strings like here okay so that finger sits along the two this finger is up here and then you can either play that or you can play both those notes so third finger fourth finger so that's here then directly underneath and then here and then you bar across those two and you play the five strings going from the from the a string down there okay but it is the hardest one to do that the second hardest one is g major it's the most popular chord in the world uh, used in uh, many songs for songwriting. We start on the G here, and then we play it on the B, which is on the A string, okay, like this. And then we play the top two strings, the D and the G on the third fret, okay? And then we play all six strings. Next one, the second easiest chord of, the, of, this, of this set is A minor. It's a bit like the E, but you move down and you put an extra finger on. So you've got the note of E here, uh, underneath it you've got A, and then you've got C. Just make sure you, you keep that finger quite high up, else otherwise it'll touch that string. And you play five strings from, from the A again. Sounds like that, okay? Then the last one, a little bit of a strange one, this. It's called a, a diminished chord. We, we, we tend to play it, because most beginners don't need to know this really anyway, but just to finish it off, uh, we're going to play it like this. Okay, so it's a little bit strange. Don't worry too much about that one. It's quite an advanced chord, and it's a bit better when we had a seventh in it like this which we'll do that later on in another video, okay? 